Hey guys, this is Dan with the Beer Guys coming at you with another beer reaction. And this beer reaction is a beer that I discovered while I was scrolling through the Beer Guys' Twitter feed. If you don't follow us on Twitter, why not? That's how you're going to find out when we post new stuff and all the other possible things that we are going to do in the future. Just, just click the follow. Doesn't, doesn't hurt. So, but what I discovered was that Moosehead has come out with a cranberry rattler. I love cranberry juice. So, I was like, shit, I gotta find this. So, what you might also be saying is, what the hell's a rattler? And my answer to you is, where the hell have you been? But if you don't know what a rattler is, rattler is essentially just a beer, in this case, a lager. Um, with fruit juice added to it, um, and you get a rattler. It's, it's, I guess it's something that's been around for a while in Germany. It's become quite popular recently, and Moosehead actually has a whole line of rattlers. Um, the, their grapefruit one, their watermelon one, peach mango one, or their strawberry lemonade one. This one's their cranberry one. Limited run cranberry one. Um, so I was like, I gotta get this, limited run, you gotta get it. So, that's what we're gonna try here. So, it's a, uh, 4% alcohol per volume. Um, again, it's Moosehead, so it's brewed in St. John's, New Brunswick, up here in Canada. Um, I've never really had any of their Rattlers before. I've had their Lager, and let's be honest, I'm sure everybody's probably had their Lager by now. And I quite like it. Um, it was a staple for me for a long time. Um, I might go to the beer store. If I didn't know what I was looking for exactly. Nine times out of ten, I was grabbing a moose head. So, yeah. So I'm excited to try this. Let's uh, really like it's it's the can looks great. Uh, I got some cranberries on it. Um, typical moose head logo. Um, it's on the back, so you still know. It is a Moosehead product. So let's, uh, let's pour it into a glass, see how it smells, we'll see how it tastes, we'll see uh, what the color looks like, all that good stuff. Let's take a look, guys. I can already smell the cranberries. So, as we can see, it's got it's got some some head to it. Uh, it's got a, a lot of uh, carbonation to it, and it smells. It smells really good. Let's see here. Let's turn on, let's turn on some lights here so you can actually maybe see it a bit better. Uh, so yeah, lots of carbonation in that beer. Uh, it's a little hazy, as you can see, which is standard with a, a rattler because they have the, ju the juice to the beer, right? It's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit hazy. The foam, or the head, as it should be called, is uh, super thick, like super thick. Like, it, it, it's like almost marshmallow, guys. But yeah, no, it smells great. It, it smells really good. Um, and color-wise, like I said, it's, it's that's that looks great. So, let's see if it's past the looks. It's past the smell. Let's see what it does with the taste. So yeah, you definitely get a bit of that cranberry as soon as it goes into your mouth, you get a bit of that cranberry. At the back, you get the malt. 
There's definitely a molt at the back, and now I can be crampy again. <laughs> um, so you get that, it's, it's not like a in your face cranberry. So if that's what you're worried about, you're like, damn, I'm not a big fan of the, like the straight cranberry juice. Um, it's not that strong. But it's definitely there. You definitely do taste the cranberry and then you taste the malt at the back. Um, back end of your malt there. Um, the head is still, as you can see, uh, quite thick. Um, it's recited, receded a bit there. Um, but uh, yeah. All in all, not, not terrible. Not a terrible, terrible beer. Um, the, the cranberry is uh, not super in your face, um, so that I can see that being more appealing. Uh, I think the reason kind of behind that um, is when you read the ingredients, it says it also has apple juice concentrate in it as well as the cranberry concentrate, which I think all that is is just kind of trying to get the in-your-face cranberry lowered down a bit to a broader spectrum of, of enjoyment for people. Um, but if you're still looking for that cranberry taste, you're still gonna get it. Um, and then, like I said, you're gonna get that malt back. It's 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 really good. If you like Rattlers, I would definitely say uh, give it a shot if you can get it before they're gone. Um, if you really like Rattlers, I definitely say go try to get it before it's gone. Um, if you don't like a kind of a maltier after, like a maltier back taste to it might not be right for you um but we still like cranberries i was still say give it a shot and, and see what it is it's a limited time thing so it might be the only time you get to try it so give it a shot um but yeah other than that that's that's really all i can i can say about it guys it's it's it smells great it looks great it tastes like cranberry but not like an over-the-top cranberry uh, and it has like the malt aftertaste and again 4% alcohol per volume. All right guys So as we always say on this channel life is too short for just one beer cheers Turn into a glass take a quick look at this cranberry rattler shot stuff all over the table. <laughs> and that was a horrible pour. Wow. Wow.